Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keith and welcome to my review of the new film War for the Planet of the Apes. This follows Rise of the Planet of the Apes and Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. And if you haven't seen those other two films, you might want to check them out before you see this one because they all follow very, very nicely and smoothly together. But if you haven't, they do, uh, they do provide a quick recap at the beginning of this film. So the last movie left off with the army coming to take out the apes and Caesar taking his crew into the forest for safety. And of course, Caesar is the, the head ape played by Andy Serkis. Now, what made this film very interesting right off the bat is it doesn't waste any time getting into some big action sequences. But the problem that the, the apes are gonna find is that they're not just being tracked by humans, they're being tracked by apes. Apes who don't necessarily follow Caesar's vision in terms of apes and humans can live in harmony. No, they've decided that, you know what, Caesar, we don't like you. We're gonna join forces with these guys and we're gonna help them take you out. Come on, apes, you're better than that. So, we start off and all of a sudden, these apes have to deal with a monumental loss, like something major happens. And now Caesar, who was a pretty non-violent guy, is now questioning, well, how do I feel about things? Maybe I'm not that nice guy, and maybe you've brought a darkness out of me. So, Caesar decides to set out and track down the army and take them out. But he's not going to go alone, because he's got some, some, some of his friends that are going to come along with him to provide some backup. Not black up, because I wasn't there. Back up. This is a very entertaining film. Um, you have to stop and recognize the amazing special effects in this movie as well as the beautiful cinematography. I really enjoyed the way this movie was shot. Um, the action sequences are good. There is like messages, there are underlying messages in this film as I felt as I feel there have been in all of these films in terms of how we treat each other. And it doesn't it doesn't come at you like an after school special type of message. It's just subliminal and you're, you're like, yeah. I know what you guys are doing. I'm picking it up. Uh, it's an enjoyable film. Is it going to be great for young kids? I don't know. They might be a little scared. But um, I found this movie to be entertaining. Um, I found the, 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 the writing to be decent. It's a little long. And there are parts in the middle that did drag a little slow. But it's because you know you're building towards this big climax towards the end. And you're just thinking to yourself, okay, let's get there. Let's get there. But overall, I think they do a really good job with this movie. Um, Woody Harrelson is in this, and he plays, of course, the leader of of, of um, the, the 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 human uh, the the humans coming to attack the army. And Woody Harrelson is like straight up cold killer in this film, which is interesting because it just makes me respect him as an actor more because he jumps from comedy to something to a more serious part like this just so easy and seamlessly. So hats off to to, to Woody Harrelson, and he just continues to impress me with his acting ability. Um, if you haven't seen the other two, again, I do recommend you check them out. Either way, I do think you will enjoy this film. Uh, I give this movie a B. Uh, if you have the chance to see War for the Planet of the Apes, by all means, let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. CFL underscore fan on Twitter, facebook.com slash witty wittier and witty Thank you so much for checking this out. My name is Keith, and I'll see you at the movies.